<laughs> Hello and welcome again to my channel. Uh, I'm Adrian of The Vice Works. Uh, today I'm uh, I'm pleasantly accompanied and supported by my eight-year-old daughter Lily, who's holding the camera and giggling. <laughs> okay. Right, let's go. Are you ready? Yes. So what's the point of today? The point of today is unboxing that thing. Unboxing and a demonstration uh, of mm. this Stanley Max Steel multi-angle vice. As a lot of you know, I don't do new vice. Um, I run a small business uh, refurbishing uh, British uh, vintage vice and selling spares. I wouldn't say small, it's pretty big. Some of them are big. Mm. Um, however, I've been getting quite a lot of emails uh, and messages from people asking if I supply these Stanley uh, ball vice, which I don't. Uh, and before we go any further, I don't have any connection with Stanley Black & Decker or any other commercial entity. I don't sell them. However, when I was down uh, our local um, farming supplies uh, shop, Mole Valley in Yeovil, uh, this, little, this little thing was in the clearance bucket. So I picked it up for the pricely sum of £23.16 and 16p. Uh, Daddy. Minus 25%. Okay, fine. So I thought to myself, I'll grab that because I must have at least this month a dozen emails of people asking me if I sell them, what I think about them. So here we go. I bought one and here is a honest review of this vice for anyone that wants it. Okay then, on to the vice. Firstly, um, packaging. Uh, the vice itself is not actually packaged entirely um, and I think the reason for that is the packaging is supposed to demonstrate the vice clamped to a bench holding a piece of timber. Um, however, to the detriment of that packaging, I have noticed a number of chips around uh, the paintwork. Is that a problem? I don't think so. Um, I can see that some of that has been done in the factory because it's been touched up. However, generally speaking, it's packaged. It's a vice. Um, let's get it out of the box. OK, then finally got the vice out of its uh, packaging. Uh, the packaging sufficient, again, didn't really offer much protection for the vice. Um, it was more of a, a demonstration of how it can be held. Let's see what that cardboard looks like then. Okay, well on the cardboard itself, if you want to take up a, a close image there, Lily. Take a bit more of a square on image. It, sh it basically shows you the co configurations that the um, vice can be held in. Not rocket science, um, <coughs> however, quite handy. Ready? Are you getting me and the product? Yes! Okay, well done. Just move it, I'm filming. Okay, so, <laughs> what do we have here? Um, okay, so we've got, um, effectively, uh, a throat vice. This is designed to be held on a bench, like so, and held with the lead screw, the turn screw, to secure it to the bench. Straight away, I'm thinking about quality. What's it made from? Um, to me, it feels like it's made from a, a, a die cast uh, alloy steel, um, possibly an, al an aluminium. Haven't checked that really. Uh, I've just opened the box. Um, oh, it twists like that. Cool. Effectively, that is the vice and that's how it's supposed to work the vice locks into position by screwing this lead screw which effectively clamps down on the ball into your desired location okay so what have we got the jaws of the vice, that's at their maximum extension. What are we? 
60, 68 millimeters, uh, just under uh, two and three quarter inch. Um, and in width, nominally three inches, 75 millimeters. Um, this particular vice runs on a couple of guide, guide bars um, with a, what looks like an M10 screw. Um, it's pretty free. Um, there's no overdue force required. Um, I've, I've put no additional lubrication on this. However, he's starting to bind. So effectively, that's the operation of the vise. Um, by unscrewing the pinch here. Where? Just here. Okay. This lever. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That will remove the pressure on the ball and allow you to move it like, pretty much in any direction. Like diagonally, forward, backward. Also, side what by is side. interesting is it also allows you to position it effectively horizontally and rotate it about that axis. So theoretically, you can hold a product any way you like. Vertical, up and down, or across ways. That's quite handy. Okay. That good? That's, that's, that, that's that bit done. Okay. The jaws, what are they made from? Okay, the jaws feel like they're made from uh, a rubber. Um, the good thing is that there are some screws at the back. Um, oh no, they're cap jaws. Nice. So a couple of um, rubber caps that sit over the jaws. Which is um, handy so you don't get the jaws really dirty and like stained. Indeed. And so the standard jaws that come with this, can you get a, a, a good close up on that, Lily? Well done. <laughs> They're effectively plain jaws with a V groove. Uh, very handy, um, I would suggest, if you were working on, um, you know, small items um, such as um, a screw or a, a small axle. What should be said is these vice really are made for, you know, small hobby craft engineering. Um, you're not going to be um whacking these with sled sledgehammers um so there are there are the jaws backlash in the lead screw well it's a it's a standard 60 degree uh metric thread you're not going to be able to put too much pressure on that if you did it would quite clearly strip the threads um but it's not made for that uh, and it shouldn't be used for that um, let's have a look at the overall quality of it. Um, the ball. Which one? The ball? The ball here. Yeah. Feels good. Um, when I tighten that down, I seem to be, I seem to get some pressure on it. Seems pretty good. Um, the screw here for the, uh, for the throat effectively to secure it to the, uh, the bench. One thing I have noticed, I don't know if you can see that, Lily. It's like a uh, loose. It's extremely loose. You need to tighten it. Um, the, the problem is the end float uh, on that screw. Um, it's not great. I would suggest that the thread in, the, in this casting is most probably oversized by some margin. Um, and looking at that i would say that that is most probably going to be its achilles heel i would suggest that that steel uh threaded screw with a little bit of force once you've secured that if you want to tighten it up i'd be very very concerned about oh but now it's stable on the bench maybe yeah. it's supposed to be like wiggly waggly then. again i think that the the message for this vice is, it's not for heavy duty applications, is it? Mm -hmm. It's effectively a third hand. It's there to hold something while you're working on it. 
like to ungrease something like a screw yeah, or yeah. one of these. Yeah. Screwdriver. Well, I think it's more to little model engineering, yes. um, small, small components. Um, not the sort of ice that Daddy generally works with. Would Adrian. you agree? Yeah. Okay, so. Other functions on it. Well, that that is it basically. It's a. Uh, it seems reasonably well made. Um, I would have liked to have seen a better machined thread uh, within the casting. Given time or a little bit of over tightening there, it's just going to strip the thread inside that casting. Um, but again, it's a well done vice. Is it fit for purpose? Yeah, yeah. I would say it is. Um, it's a, a die cast product by the looks of it. Um, it seems well made. Uh, is it something that I'll keep on my workshop bench in the unit? Probably. Probably, actually, yeah. Um, I'm reasonably impressed by its quality. Um, overall, um, haven't used it yet. You... We'll get it in the workshop tomorrow, Lily. That's uh, why you unpacked it on the video. We'll let the lads free on it. Maybe we'll use it for holding um, the micrometers and things. What's a micrometer? The measuring devices. Ah. Uh, when we uh, calibrate them. Uh, but yeah, uh, all in all. It's, a, it's a nice little vice, um, you know, it's it's cheap, um, but for your money, can you, what, I mean, what else, I mean, I paid what, with the discount, £17 plus VAT, um, it's not going to last you forever, the threads will wear and strip. Especially as um, this tiddly tabby bit. Yeah, a little bit of oil I would suggest around that ball joint. Uh, would keep it um, nice, nice and, and lubricated and flexible. Yeah, you're right. Um, because why do we need to keep things lubricated, Lily? Uh, so it doesn't go like steel and that. So it doesn't go like steel? Yeah. Okay. Steel. Well, we keep things lubricated. Yeah. To reduce friction. Yeah. Minimise wear. And to ease operation. Okay. But yeah, I mean, it's a good there you voice. go. I've tightened it up. If you stand back now, Lily, and get a picture or a video, you know, it's all right. It's all right as a third third hand. Okay. Okay. In summary, the little Stanley um, Max Steel multi vice. Um, quite handy as a third hand, I would say. Um, you're not going to be putting too much pressure on that. Um, the lead screws um, are just standard, um, kind of 60 degree uh, metric thread. Um, and the castings, the threaded castings, do look like they've got quite a lot of uh, uh, backlash in, in them um, and then float. So, Great for ease of, of operation, but um, whatever you would do with this voice, I wouldn't suggest you put too much pressure on it at all. Um, comes with a little set of <coughs> soft jaws, um, quite handy. I mean, they're um, not really soft jaws, they're like a cover. Well, they are. They're, they're like the jaws that Daddy makes in the workshop. But they're, they're not rubber. They're like cap. Mine aren't rubber, no. Um, but yeah. It's a good voice. In summary... It's okay. It's okay as a third hand. I say it's pretty good. Yeah, I would say it's pretty good. Um, looks well machined. I can't see any areas that are going to stand out for failure, other than the wiggly waggly bit. Yeah, the wiggly waggly screw. Um, that is the only downfall. Um, but you know, in reality, should that fail in the future, you could always oversize that uh, with an M12 or a half inch um, helicoil and replace the. Um, this lead screw with a bolt. If it's you're not the end enough. of the world. 
if you're clever enough indeed. <coughs> okay, so may I say thank you to my um, intelligent assistant behind the camera, uh, Lily Wilkes. Me! Uh, yeah, that's you. And hopefully that has give um, a lot of you, especially a lot of these people that have been emailing me about this vice, is it all right? And I hate to say it because it's a new vice, but yes, as a third hand for very light work, soldering applications, uh, potentially holding a PCB to do some desoldering, yes, I would say it's it's well worth the money. Hello, I'm Lily Wilkes, and I was behind that camera <laughs> when Daddy was doing about this vice, and I think the vice is. Very well made, and I like the ball bit. Daddy, how do you do the ball bit again? You undo that lever. This, this one? Yep, yeah. undo right. it. That's it, go on. Right, and then you move the ball thing. Yep, yeah. and you can move that to any position you want. Yep, yeah, like this. I like the ball thing, it's my favourite. It is quite a handy little piece of kit, isn't it? But I am not impressed with this thing. You're not impressed with <laughs> the... Um, Little swing thing. Yeah. Same as me, Papi. It's very, very loose. And within no time at all, I would say that that is going to... Die the, off. The internal thread on the casting is going to strip. However, not everyone will be moving this vice every other day. So if it goes onto a workbench and it stays there for a long time... You don't need to operate it too often. Which what do you reckon? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is some. Um... I've still got something oh, to say. Apologies, you know. little lady. Go on then. Right. You may recognise me if you've watched my YouTube channel. And what's your YouTube channel? Lillian Bear. Lillian Bear. And what does Lillian Bear do? They do fun kid stuff. They do fun kid stuff. Like right. about snails and. I love Harry Potter stuff, so you might have seen a lot of Harry Potter stuff in my YouTube videos. Well and done. I honestly think this price is hmm, yellow. It is yellow. And black. That's because it's it's Stanley, and the manufacturers of Stanley, I believe, also own Dewalt, and their trademark colour is that colour. Um, nice. But yeah, okay. Anyway. Say bye-bye to everyone. Bye-bye. And see you later. And I hope you subscribe to my dad's channel. Which is? The Vice Works. The Vice Works. www.viceworks.co.uk